the partial derivative of f, a function of several variables, respect to a variable x, but could be respect to whatever other variable, could be respect to z, to respect to y, etc. If given a function f of several variables, the partial derivative of x respect to x is obtained by considering x as the only variable of the function. So the other will be considered constant. If I'm making the derivative respect to x, this x is the variable, the y, z, or whatever other variable that appears will be constant. We're going to use this symbol. For example, if the function is f, I can put f of x. This will be the partial derivative of f respect to x. Obviously, respect to y will be y here. Or we can use the small Greek letter for delta. So there are a delta that is a capital delta, but this is the small delta in Greek. We use it for the partial derivative. So it will be the partial derivative of f. And here at the bottom, you can read respect to x. It's similar to the df, dx, the derivative of x respect to x, but it's typing in this way because maybe there are other variables. The, whatever of these two symbols are used to symbolize the partial derivative of x respect to x. Obviously, with respect to y, we put the y. With respect to z, we put the z. For example, if we have this 3x squared plus xy minus 2x plus 3y, this is a function of two variables. Look at that area, x and y. What is the derivative of x respect to x? Or what is the derivative of x respect to y? And if, for example, if, if I need to compute this derivative, the, the partial derivative of x respect to x, I need to consider the x as a variable. This y is a constant. That's it. So you know how to make the derivative, so it will be easy. So for the getting the solution, this x is a variable, so the derivative of, of x respect to x will be 6x, the derivative of the first, 6x, plus the derivative of the second, x, multiplied by y. This y is a constant. Remember, when you multiply a constant by a function where the derivative will be the constant, multiply by the derivative, and the derivative of x is 1. So it will be plus the constant only, plus y. Minus, now, the derivative of 2x is 2, negative 2, the constant. So negative 2 multiplied by the derivative of x that is 1, remember? So it will be minus 2. And 3y will be a constant, because this is a constant multiplied by another constant, because now x is the only variable. So this will be 0. So that's it. This is the derivative of f respect to x, the partial derivative of f respect to x. If I want to find the partial derivative of f respect to y, now x is a constant and y is the variable. The partial derivative of x respect to y will be, the derivative of this is zero, because this is a constant. There is no y here. But here there is a y, eh? the derivative of x, y will be the derivative of y is 1, if this is the variable, and the x is a constant, will be x times 1 will be x. Minus 2x, there is no y here, the derivative of this will be 0. And the derivative of 3y will be 3, because it will be 3 multiplied by y. So that's it, it will be the partial derivative of f respect to y. Another example, let's see, for example, this. Find the f dx. So the, the, again, this is the same, the partial derivative of f respect to x. It will be, if I get the derivative of this number, 3, go here multiplying. 3 multiplied by 4 will be 12, 12x squared. This y squared is a constant. It's multiplying a constant. A constant multiplying a function is the constant multiplied by the derivative. So this y squared stays there. The derivative of this will be 12x squared y squared. You see? This 3 multiply this 4, 12. Then the x is reduced to square. This y is a constant that is multiplying, continually multiplying. Because y will be a constant in this case. Here will be 2 multiply this 3, it will be 6x, 6x to the power 1, 
and y is a constant continuum there, so it will be 6xy minus the derivative of 7x. 7 is a constant, so it will be minus 7, so the derivative of x is 1. Plus the derivative of 2y, but 2y is a constant. And if there is a constant along, the derivative is zero. Here is a constant multiplied by a function, but this is, this is a constant along. So the derivative of the constant along will be zero. So we finish. So we don't need to put the zero. We are done. Or for example, this one here, the derivative of s respect to y. Oh, in this case, y is the variable, x is constant. So these two multiply this four, it will be a and y will be to the power one. Sq continue multiplying. So it will be a sq y because the two go there multiplying this four a and these two is going to be reduced by one y to the power one. Let's see here. Oh, here is this square is a constant multiplying y, but the derivative of y is one. So it will be just 3x squared plus 3x squared minus 7x. Here the derivative is in terms of y. 7x is a constant along, so the derivative of this is 0, so I don't need to type it. But the derivative of 2y is 2, because the derivative of y is 1. 2 times the derivative of y is 2, so it will be plus 2. So that is the way that we make a partial derivative by hand. If you want to compute the derivative respect to x, x is the variable, y is constant. The partial derivative respect to y, y is the variable, x is the constant.